Hi everyone, I am super excited because I just got a shipment of catalogs and merchandise that I cannot wait to show you. This is our July to December mini catalog. Now, technically, customers can't order from here until August, um, but it is our mini catalog, and it's my favorite mini catalog of the year because it has the fall and winter items, and fall is my favorite, and of course winter is always fun to scrapbook and make cards for and just all kinds of one, wonderful um, creative holiday themed things too. So this is my favorite catalog every year, and this one does not disappoint. So let's get into the, I can't show you the inside yet, but I will post it on my um blog and Facebook page links will be on there uh, as soon as I can. August, I believe it's 2nd, which is my sister's birthday. Maybe it's um, August 3rd. And there's Celebration, too. That's what the small one is. So Celebration is also happening in August, so perfect timing with this catalog. Now I will go through what that means as well. So it used to be Celebration was only one time a year, and now Stampin' Up! is doing them for smaller time frames. They used to be three months long, now they're only two, but they're two times a year. So in reality, we have a whole extra month a year of Celebration, and it's a great time because during Celebration, you get to earn, with every purchase of $50 or more, you get to earn free things. And I can show you the cover, and I have the products in this box that I'm about to open. There are stamps. There are dyes and there are papers. So there's so many wonderful free things that you can earn during celebration. And with this new catalog, you're going to have things that you want. So it'll be really easy to earn the freebies. So I'm going to open this box and kind of show you the products. Okay, first up is um, that I purchased was called, it's a painted season is the sweet name and that's because of the paper which I will show you but also there's in this suite there are two different stamp sets and two different die sets and they're both really pretty um, you can do both or one or the other uh, and you can't go wrong with either one they're really beautiful stamp sets so this one has a watercolor feel so I was drawn to it right away you can see the imagery and you can imagine if you stamp this and layer you can get um, different tones and the pine cones are really fun and I just thought this was a really pretty set. There are no words in this set so this is a great scene builder and you can use stamp sets you already own so it's really great and there are dies that cut out the pine cones both sizes and see these layer on top of each other so maybe do a soft suede with some accents of um, early espresso or you can do lighter um, cinnamon cider pine cones kind of depends on where you're from what kind of pine cones you have in your area we have some pretty dark ones um, but some of the longer ones are lighter <laughs> you've got lots of different little branches um, little, little berries and they go on that little branch there so holly perfect and then these little accent um, imagine doing that snow coming down or something like that so it's just a really pretty stamp set now one of the things I like about the dies here is you do have a die for your flourishes you've got some for your branches even the um, pine the little needles you got some for the holly these stamp and punch together which is nice and you've got one for here so you've got a, a die for every image which is awesome but then they've included these labels which are super nice I mean these are going to be usable for Christmas and this stamp set, but really any stamp set. And here you've got little brackets that you can add. So you can add little brackets to the end of here and imagine like threading a ribbon through or something along those lines. And here this, this too has these little slots, which would be great for threading ribbon through the side of a bracket. And I like that they didn't put them on the um, label because you can use them or not. So you can, and you can put them on either side. But these little slots would look nice on this end, but they also could work on that end. So they kind of left it up to you to decide what to do with those slots. So I really like that. This is um, called Christmas Season and Christmas Labels dies and these together are a bundle you would save 10% if you bought them together but you can do you know these are great on their own because you can do these shapes um, on their own but I think they make a really great bundle so that 
that was on my list right away. I loved the pine cones. And then here, this is a different, this is something different. This is all words. So they kind of work nicely together. And you can imagine that whole suite working together. This one has really great, um, just plain greetings for the outside, but then also some larger things that you can do on the outside or inside, which is nice. And I really like this. And then here, these dies are really different. So here you've got just, um, I mean, look how detailed these are. So you can layer here. This is really nice too. So you've got pine cones and branches and you can layer these up in different colors. And then these are extra pine cones that happen to kind of fit on top of these pine cones. So uh, you can imagine building a, a huge pine scene here and that is really fun. So I really like this. Uh, these are not the same pine cones in this one. That was a question that someone asked. So different. And the catalog shows samples in this. And these dies are so detailed and pretty. And you layer them. Ideally, you can layer different greens on top of each other. Just imagine the depth of color you can get on this fun little, um, not little, big die set. And these great words. So this is called painted Christmas sweet and the whole reason for the painted Christmas part is the paper so let me show you look at that I mean how perfect that's perfect that's like the basis that can be anything so nice I love the green and red and it's the traditional green and red too I love garden green and real red are nice and then accents in early espresso, early, um, evening evergreen pear pizzazz. Perfect for the um, holiday time. So here's the back of this one. And then you've got the pine cones. Love those. And the back of that one, nice um, pine branches. Here's a nice one. These are all great. You can imagine making cards, but also boxes. This would be great on scrapbook pages. Here's a really soft background here. Look at that. Pine cones again, super woodsy. I like this one a lot. And then look at the background. That is really pretty. Kind of a nice accent. And these are all painted. There's pretty pines. The back just leaves. Now that's what I like about some of these is they can take you past the holidays. You like these are kind of very holiday looking. But if you look at the backgrounds here, this one and here on this leaf background, you can use that after. Um, winter. This is going to take you through. Now this is very wintry looking, but then uh, this background is can just be geometric. It also kind of has that look of um, jingle bells maybe with the little cutouts, but not really. It's just kind of a ge geometric background. Really pretty. So I really like this paper. I loved the uh, pine cones in the paper and in the dies. So really cute. And there are some accents here. There's a ribbon collection that's really sparkly. And let me show you that. It's Cherry Cobbler, which is interesting. It's in this suite, which is not Cherry Cobbler. It's real red, but you know how you've got deeper tones and things, and it's going to go nicely. They, they pair nicely, and that gold really shines through. But then you can kind of see as you move it, it sometimes looks more red, sometimes looks more gold. And it'll, it'll work with this paper collection as well as other paper collections. So I really like that. And then there's these little gold holly berries. Ooh, a bunch of these little guys. So aren't they fun? And that looks great with the ribbon and will look great on these projects. So that's the first suite that I wanted to show. Let me put these aside. My desk is going to be amazingly messy when I'm done. And I'm just kind of shoving things aside. Okay, now this one I liked because of the dies. This one and this big piece here. This looks like um, kind of an accent piece we had in a paper pumpkin once that was so pretty last Christmas. I don't know if you got the paper pumpkin last year. But this one is a, like a pretty little, you can imagine, um, you can use these stamps to fill in the uh, floral images here. 
and do some little accents with your holly and or you can use your stamp and blends this looks really pretty embossed in gold and then colored in i'm i'm thinking that's ideas that are going through my head and then great sentiments on here so i really like this one it's kind of all encompassing but what i really liked were the dies the dies kind of sold me on this one even more because of the way they're they're um oriented so i liked again we have a big set cute little dots imagine using that you've got stars i like that there's a happy because i'm thinking in my head i could use the happy and then stamp the word birthday there's not a birthday here i kind of wish they would have added that in there because you can do happy holidays obviously happy christmas but in my head happy birthday is so it's kind of versatile that way and i like that but this is let me show you the one that i liked is this one look at how it's oriented it goes down so you can imagine this like on a slim line or like a flap card so I was thinking this would be fun on a slimline card long or on a flap accent, something kind of fun and funky, something we're different because the, the words are going down. So I really liked that. It's kind of, and then they layer. You can layer the thick lines with the thin line words. It says cheer. And there's all kinds of little holly. I like that you can cut multiples out at one time. These are three separate holly branches, and they all cut at one time. They're little pairs, and they're separate. So I like that. You can one pass, and you get you know three little sections you can tuck behind. And super smart these dies. I thought very smart. And the stars, same thing. You can punt. You you can uh, cut them out all at one time. So anyway, these I thought were really good dies. I thought they were really smart and thoughtful and I like this one. It's going to cut out this accent here. So anyway, really great. And again, I liked the, the vertical as opposed to horizontal dies. Okay, now this one I really enjoyed. I thought it says whimsical trees and I think that's just what it is. I love the doodly image of this little holly berry right there. I thought the whole thing was cute and I think it's going to make some really gorgeous cards. Um, trying to find the dies really quick. Because again, I think they're really doing great with the dies on this one. There they are. Okay, so this collection has, it's called Whimsy and Wonder. Okay, and you've got these really cute trees and some nice sentiments. There's the dies, like I was going to say, are really great because, and again, it's a big set, two sheets. And you've got the tall, look how tall that tree is. Amazingly tall. I love it. And um, you've got this one here with the little cutouts, and you can layer, and that'll be fun. And um, these tall sticks on these trees are really cute. This cuts out all your ornaments at once. I saw on the demonstrators are already using these, and I saw a really cute... Um, card so nice with just these little ornaments and it was such a striking card I really love it so I'll show that this is ornaments too and you get eight ornaments in one cut and they come out separate it's one die but they come out separate eight little ornaments so you can hang them on your tree and uh, same thing with the stars you get five stars and then um, this cuts out your holly berry bow thing and it's just a really fun set and I kind of think some of it could be Dr. Susie you know with these tall trees but also imagine a scrapbook page with these nice tall trees and um, how pretty that would be if you got a winter scene or maybe you went on a vacation someplace with lots of pine trees so I think that you can use the pine trees all year round in your outdoor hiking pages and all that sort of stuff so I thought this one was really cute and then um, there reason why it's called whimsy it's using different non-traditional holiday colors so let me show you the paper okay so this one is specialty paper and you it's got glimmer to it iridescent glimmer which is really fun so i want to show you the paper pink snowflakes see how different isn't that cute but it's it's just adorable and then look at that stripe and so imagine again after the holidays are over after you're not making snowflakes anymore it's no longer winter this is a great paper this would be good for baby it's got blue and pink and green it could be good for anything really uh, i like that it's got the misty moonlight because i'm loving that blue okay and then here look at these really pretty that's that doodly looking holly that i love and then nice again all year round totally cute paper here are some gorgeous trees on the back there beautiful this is uh, mint macaron so it's like uh, perfect for all year round presents now these don't have to be uh, holiday presents but you do have a holly berry on there so they kind of have that feel to them but again the back this one does have holly berry on it 
I think you can even cut out some of these gifts and use them, stack them, do something with them. Um, and then a perfect way with stripe. I mean, that's great. Kind of any day. Same thing on the back. Any day. And then look at these ornaments. How sweet. I love this deer. I mean, how cute is the, are these ornaments? They're so cute. And imagine cutting them out, maybe using them separately or using them all together. So that's why it's called Whimsy and Wonder. And here's the back of that one. This one has really light trees and stars in the um, misty moonlight. So really pretty. Here's the ribbon. And look at this ribbon. It's frayed on the edge. Really cute. Let me see if I can find the end. So, there. Soft. It's got the, the ends, ends are kind of fluffy and frayed. Really cute. Oh, there's one more thing with this collection, and it's snowflakes. And these are kind of um, a little shimmery. They're iridescent. You know, they kind of have a shimmer to them. Wonderful snowflakes. So that's kind of part of this Whimsy and Wonder collection. I really thought these were fun. Okay, this one's for the animal lovers. So you've got sweet little stockings, and you can use it with or without the pets. You got a gerbil <laughs> and a cat and a dog. Really cute. Santa paws, um, you know, just super cute. And um, again, you can use them with or without the animals. Add a hat to the animal, put them in the stocking, and there are dies, of course, and the dies cut out all the stockings, all the gifts, the hat, and the pets. So you can make a really cute scene here with the pets. Let me show you the dies. And a nice label, which is always nice to have. So super cute. You know, nice accents. Holly, of course. A little stitching for the stocking top and the stocking toe and the heel if you want to add that. A little star. But you've also got something to cut out the cat and the gerbil and the dog. Really cute. Their little paws can hang over the edge of the stocking. But even better. Look at this paper. I mean, let me open this. All right, so you've got a cat in a box. <laughs> and a dog all wrapped up in the ornaments. A cute little mouse. I mean, I don't really like to see mice. But um, I guess they, they can be cute. Here you've got, this is that cherry cobbler. Okay, and then here you've got a whole bunch of little stockings, and you can cut these out if you want and use them. Uh, here you've got different types of dogs in the stockings than are on that. <laughs> it's kind of a grumpy cat. He's stuck in that stocking. It's cute. Um, let me show you the back of that one. Is a nice little whimsical stripes. Look at these animals. How cute. You even have a bird. I have a, a demonstrator friend who has a really cute bird that kind of looks like this. And then you've got, you know, more dogs and cats. That grumpy one's cracking me up. Okay, on the back, nice little patterns, kind of stitched. Now these actually can be cut out with the dies. So you can use these stockings to cut out these guys, which is fun. And on the back, nice little stars. This one, I kind of thought could be used for Halloween. Okay, here you've got more animals and a goldfish. I like that one a lot, actually. Is that a corgi? I had a, I had a goldfish for a long, long time. Not in a bowl like this, but but uh, I thought I love my little goldfish. Um, and then here's a nice little stripe pattern. Really cute little light bulbs, and then the back. So really great, whole suite. And there's more to this suite actually. Let me show you. There are enamel dots like that, and there is felt. and a ribbon. Now the ribbon is a striped ribbon and it's pool party so it can be used forever. I don't know if I got the felt. Oh, I did. It's just 6 by 12 so I didn't see it. It's hiding. So you've got three colors. I'm not going to open it right now. It's um, Old Olive, I'm, I'm guessing, and uh, Bumblebee and um, Cherry Cobbler and White. So you can use these with the dyes. You can use these with the trees or you know you can use this with anything they put it with this suite but really it can go with all the sweets <laughs> okay so that is the cute pets it's called sweet stockings suite now if you're a customer of mine I've already ordered catalogs to be mailed to you uh, if you're not and you haven't purchased before I did not order one for you because I don't know you but <laughs> you can get one um, let's see oh here I like this one a lot 
there used to, I don't know if you remember, we had a set where there was just like legs and big thing of balloons or a big stack of books. You couldn't see the person's face because they were covered by the books. Here's gifts. So this kind of reminds me of that old set. And it's really cute. I really like it. It's good for coloring. And so I, um, I grabbed this one. There's no dies for this one. It's just a stamp set. Real simple. I love, look, you can put little stockings. You can make her boots have like pattern. I liked it. Anyway, I thought this was a super cute little um, stamp set, and I just like the big box tower and the you know festive branches and the tree, and I thought it was just really sweet, and uh, so I really liked it. Delivering cheer, two from, simple, perfect for coloring, watercolor pencils, stamp and blends, the whole thing. Okay, now the next one is my favorite, absolute favorite, so cute. And it's a punch. Anytime there's a punch, I'm all over it. Now, this punch has a weird shape. You're like, what is that? It's the inside. It goes inside the penguin so that you can do um, black cardstock and then white cardstock to get that black and white penguin. And um, now you don't have to. You can punch out the stamped image, too. So you can do stamped image or make it with the cardstock. So either way. And it's just a really cute little penguin builder. So cute. And he's got little feet, so you need to cut out two of the little feet. And it's just a cute little, he got a little sledding penguin and um, a little standing penguin. Now you can make him standing by how you put the foot, feet. You can flip it around, he looks like he's standing, but if you put the feet sticking up, then he's sitting down, right? And you can add antlers, you can add hat, so cute. And the little sayings are adorable. And I just thought this was adorable. Now here's where I'm gonna bring in some of that celebration. Remember how I told you if you made a purchase of $50 or more, now this is not $50, it's only 30. But, so you'd have to add some more. It's thirty-one fifty, so you'd have to get a little bit, maybe get some cardstock. Maybe you need some ink colors, or maybe you like some other things from the catalog. So, um, but if your order gets to $50 or more, look what you can choose. Free paper that matches. I mean, and it is so cute. It's called Penguin Playmates. I love the fox. We have a fox in our neighborhood that comes by every once in a while. So I like to see the fox. Polar bears like hello. All right, so these are so cute, and this is free only during celebration, so it's only good um, August and September. And of course, you're going to want to start using these, you know, in October. So you got to remember, you got to remember to get this now when you can in August. So look at the polar bears, and then again on the back, cute little trees. I love the color here, and then look at these. I love this little sleeping fox. He's so cute. And then on the back of that one, you've got a little pattern. Here's some more little snowmen. And another fox. Just and all, foxes are all doing different things. So you can add the sleeping fox next to the uh, standing fox. <laughs> and there's the little snowman. And on the back, a nice stripe. I mean, this is great paper. The backs have some nice patterns. The fronts have a cute animal. Here's this one. Adorable. Another fox. Another penguin, another polar bear, and a great stripe. And then here, look at, they're all having fun. Super cute. This is my favorite snowman. I don't know why. He's so basic. And then look at the back of this one. So this paper is amazing. Here's another. They're having fun. They're helping each other build a snowman. Adorable. Now they added a bunny. The birds bring in the hat. And then the back. The backs are great. The fronts are great. It's awesome. And it's free with a $50 purchase. So Penguin Place, that was um, my favorite uh, so far. I like the cute, I don't know. I like the pretty, but I also really have a thing for the cute. Okay, Beauty of Tomorrow. Let me see if I can find the dies. Here it is. Okay, now this one, this bundle isn't all here. There's a paper that goes with it. The paper is what really sold me. The paper is beautiful, but I also like the big words on this one. And this little sweet bird. The paper, though, if you see the stamps with the paper, it kind of comes together, and I don't have the paper yet. The paper was a little bit delayed getting in. Here's another one of those ginormous dies. This is detailed leaves, and it looks beautiful with the paper. I can imagine it in gold. There's some metallic um, shimmery vellum with this collection that I didn't get yet. And so it's just beautiful. And then, of course, you've got dyes that work with the bird and the different images. But this is one doesn't really work with any of them. It's just a kind of a standalone page. And then this one goes with the 
images. And it's just really pretty, but I wish I could show you the paper because the paper is gorgeous. But I can show you this. This is called um, Blackberry Beauty. I guess that tells you that Blackberry Bliss is in the paper. Blackberry Beauty Ephemera Pack. And it has just little frames, little tags. Um, there's a frame around here. You can't really tell, but it's die cut where you've got a frame. And then within the frame, you've got another one. And then you've got this little tag. So you can use all of that. And the same thing here. This is a frame. And then little labels within it. And then look, the oak leaves. Love. And these beautiful labels, these are all separate little pieces. And I love this barn owl. You get two barn owls. I kind of wish there was a barn owl stamp. And then here you've got some gold accent pieces. It's really pretty. It's a pretty set. And I really, really wish I could show you the um, paper. But I cannot. So I will get over it. But <laughs> when I do get it in, I'm sure I'm going to make a lot of things with this set. So you'll see it in action. I just think these are really beautiful images. So sometimes I like the pretty. I like the cute. But the pretty gets me too. All right. Oh, that one has a ribbon that I was able to get, and it's a gold ribbon. Let's see if I can cut it. It's really down deep in there. <laughs> I don't know how to get that plastic out of there. Oh yeah, I can fast forward. Okay. So it's a really, it's a, it's a, like a gold lame, really. And it ties like a gold lame is kind of thin, which is why it's squished down in there so good. Um, it's 10 yards, but it, it's down deep in there because it's thin. I like that actually a lot of times because then it doesn't take up so much bulk on your cards and, um, you know, it's, it's flat. So that's nice. So anyway, gold. And like I said, there's some gold shimmer vellum I don't have, but it's beautiful. Okay. That's called Blackberry Beauty Sweet. Okay, and then another one. Okay, now we're getting into that kind of Halloween. Now, obviously, there is a lot more Christmas that I did not get. And um, I can't get everything yet. <laughs> I'll get it eventually, but not yet. Um, anyway, I had to limit myself. So, cute Halloween. Here again, I like the cute. I have to admit it. And this one is cute. You've got cats. You can fill them in or leave them empty, uh, fill in the pumpkin, fill in the ghost, or leave it just the outline. And faces, look, this little ghost has little paws, little hands. You put them, they're so cute. And then you've got, you know, spiders and accents and boo. I like that. And just really cute. This would be adorable. Um, scrapbook page. In fact, there's a scrapbook page in the catalog that's adorable. But here in is some more little accents. So you've got my favorite ribbon from the catalog. If I can find it is this ribbon. Look at that. Black and white check. I'm going to use this on everything. I mean, this is not necessarily Halloween. This is all the time. And I love a black and white check. Look at that. I'm wearing a blue and white check today. But look at this one. Look how sweet. And it's nice. It's a nice ribbon. It's not too thick. I love it. I love this ribbon. In fact, I meant to get two of these and I didn't. So that'll have to go on my next order. Because I'm worried about that one going on back order. Because that's how cute it is. And then... This one is a punch. It's even better. You've got a ghost. I mean, this this punch, amazing. This one, uh, I think, will sell like crazy. This little cat face, this little pumpkin is perfect. And that ghost, when you put the little hands on it, is stinking cute. So, cutest Halloween. That ribbon. Oh, there's treat boxes. And I don't want to make one up for you real quick. Maybe I'll open it because I want you to see. It's a tombstone. Remember we had coffins a few years ago. This one is a tombstone treat box, and I don't know how to put it together because I haven't seen it yet in person. This is it right here. So how does it go together? Don't know. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Oh, here, look, it's got, it's even got adhesive already on. What? Oh, it's two pieces. Okay, so there's a front and back. You've got, oh, that's nice, and it's already got adhesive. Okay, I figured it out already. I'm wrapping that around. And then you've got a top and a bottom. It's a tombstone. How cute. You can put that little ghost with the little hands that I think is adorable. On there, some ribbon. The catalog shows how you can leave it flat and cut a window out if you want to have a window to see what the treats were inside. Um, anyway, the sample in the catalog is really cute. Again, I wish I could show it to you. I mailed one. It's on its way. Um, anyway, super cute tombstones with the cute Halloween and then the paper. Oh, there's also stars. 
Okay, well, sadness is setting in because apparently I forgot to get the paper. <laughs> it's cute. I have to put it in order anyway because I have a couple customer orders in. So I need to buy some paper. The paper is really cute. It has the cute ghost. It's got stripes. It's adorable. And I love it. I wish I could show it to you. I'm so sorry that I didn't. You know, maybe it is. It's 6 by 6 Maybe I just didn't see it in the box. Oh, ah! oh thank goodness. Because it's, look at, <laughs> look at these little ghosts. It's like a ridiculous shape. But it's so cute anyway. Cute paper. I love it. Six by six. I think that's why I didn't see it in my box because I thought it was 12 by 12. So you've got um, four of each. So I'm not, I'm more than that. Is that more than that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe the six each. Nice. Of eight different designs. Sometimes it's four each of 12 designs. So it's six each. This is actually better for me because when I do classes, I wish there were more of each pattern. So I like the, um, six each. So we've got the, the boo, the cute little, and on the back it says boo. Adorable. Look at these. I wonder if these work. Glancing? I'm saying yes. I think that you can punch these out with the, with the punch. That's, I'm going to say yes, but don't uh, hold me to it if I'm wrong. That's my guess. I mean, I just really, yeah, I really, I really believe so. Okay. And then stripes. Perfect. Dots. Perfect. What's on the back? candy. Cute. You can color that in or leave it black and white as a little accent. Look at the pink. These. I mean, they're supposed to be bats. They're supposed to be scary, but they're so cute. This one's got like his own box of, of candy. He's hanging upside down. His candy's right side up. It's adorable. Okay. Stri oh, did I see the back of that one? Oh, just kind of black, but with a slight pattern to it. Uh, here's some stripe. What's on the back of this one? Oh, I went too far. Some more dots. Oh, here's the skull. He's cute. He's got different expressions like, ah, he's laughing. They're cute. I like it. It's called Cute Halloween. Cute Halloween. And it is. Stripes. Perfect. I mean, again, all year round. Stripes. All year round. Dots. Okay, we got the cute little houses. What's on the back? <laughs> little ghosts, little skulls, little bats. And that's, oh, that's nice. It kind of doesn't seem like it goes with the rest of it. It's a really sweet little pattern. I think that was, looks like all year round again. Baby card all year round. It's got the right colors, though, so it does match the rest. But it's it's very sweet. And on the back, again, so this one, not Halloween at all. And I like that they included it because it does work as a nice accent. I mean, cute. All right, you got stars. Cute stars, they're called. They have a kind of an iridescence to them, and they match. So anyway, that's the sweet. The ribbon, and again, I'm going to use this on the Halloween, but I'm going to use this on a million other things. So pretty with yellow, with flowers, with daisies. Mm. Okay, so I think there's a couple more Halloweens that I bought. Let me see. I didn't get all the Halloween. Oh, there was a fall one I want to show you. Okay, this is my favorite fall. Look at this. Nature's Harvest. Let me find the dies. They're amazing. They're called Harvest Dies. Amazing. There's a paper. There's ribbon. This one's got a lot, so hold on. All right, so this one. Look at the dies. Okay, I love coneflower. That's my all-time favorite flower. I have it in my yard. I love it, love it, love it. I think that's what that is, although maybe it's Black Eyed Susan. I don't know. I think you could color it either way. But look how big these are and how wonderful. And then, of course, you've also got the one that will cut out the actual one. But So you've got, you've got images that will cut out these. You've got brackets for your words. But look at these. I mean, amazing. Love it so much. All right, so I can, I mean this makes me happy. Now in the catalog they did it in yellow so maybe it's a black eyed Susan. But I imagine it as a coneflower as like a purpley coneflower and I think if I color it that way it'll look just fine. Okay so that's this one and then with this there is oh, there's an embossing folder called Time Worn Type. So it's got barely there. You can't really read it. Not really legible letters, words. And, um, I mean, it says willow, so harvest, but you can barely read it. It's just for accent. 
and then it's kind of worn looking. So it's 3D and folder, really nice. There are metallic gems in um, copper and gold and like a bronzy. They're matte, really nice. There is, get, watch this one, cork. Look at that. How many sheets? Let me see. Two sheets of 12 by 12 cork. Amazing. And it's like actually cork. Let me see because it, it feels like it. Yes, it is actually cork. I mean, that's amazing. It's like a really, really thin veneer. Or they did a really good job with the fake. I don't know. It's amazing. Amazing. Okay, and then there's actual paper paper. Oh, here's that shimmer. I didn't know I got this. This is that shimmer gold I was telling you. It's vellum, but it's shimmery gold. And that is gonna look beautiful with this Nature's Harvest, but it's also gonna, it's gonna look beautiful on a lot of things. All right, here's the Harvest Meadow. Now the first one is like a misty moonlight field of flowers here, but there's so much to this one that I love. So I wanna show you the whole thing. All right, so we've got the Misty Moonlight Harvest on the back, Bumblebee Geometric. Okay, then you've got, look at this one. This is a great accent. That's crumb cake, nice little accent piece. Looks kind of like old wallpaper, but it's nice. And then on the back here, this is Calypso Coral. Nice. Very earthy, very natural. Here we go here. This is Soft Succulent, and it's that words. This is like the embossing folder in a way. And on the back, Bumblebee Field. Almost the same images. Might be, actually. No. A little different. Okay, and then here a little wheat field in crumb cake. Nice. On the back, this has bumblebee, and it's got little flowers. Really sweet. Um, with calypso coral accents. And then here we've got a nice, another geometric pattern. These are going to be great for, I mean, this can work with anything. It doesn't have to go with the sweet. Really nice calypso coral background. And one more. This one here looks like cotton. Some kind of puffy little branches, really cute, and then the back, nice little geometric, really nice, really nice paper, really nice stamp set, love this, right there, so pretty, I'm excited about this, I'm going to use this like right away, okay, moving on, and again, I did not get everything, so, this is just a sampling. There's a lot more. Okay, here's one that I think is going to be a big seller. All right, let me see if I can find the dies. Okay, so I like this. This is a basic swirl. We've had that before, and it looks really sweet. It looks nice behind stamped images. It looks like a nice accent. I like, the reason why I think this is going to be good is, look at, you've got bats, snowflakes, stars, and leaves, so all year round on this one. You've got thankful, but you've also got Halloween, grateful, so this is like a multi-seasonal thing. And then the dies really kind of help you sell the whole thing. So look at these dies swirly with leaves and then some accent leaves that you can add there's a bat okay and then you've got swirly with more pine boughs so you can imagine uh, layering the leaves and the pine or this can be more fall and you can add see how they've got accent leaves that work with each one so this one works with this one holly could be put with the pine because there's holly in here and then you've got this one with stars so imagine putting the bat, like you could make this kind of Halloween-y spooky, and then put the bat with this, and then there's a pumpkin. So anyway, I thought this was a really great one. And I don't know what this is. Is it a broom? Is it a little witch's broom? Anyway, really cute. I think that's going to sell really well, actually. Okay, here's another one of, that I thought was really interesting because of the dies, and I really want to make sure that you see these. These are called uh, Festive and Bright, and again, you've got holidays galore here, but look here. This is like um, fruit. You could make this an, an apple tree. 
who's got an apple. Or it could be, you know, different fruit if you wanted to go with something else. But this could be kind of harvesty. And then you've got light bulbs, and then you've got Halloween. And then you've got words for all of those. And I thought that was fun. And I like, again, the vertical. But the dies are really, really fun. I really think that Stamp Up does a great do uh, job with the dies. Here we go again with the vertical, but watch this. So you can cut out one side. So here, like you line it up. Well, these are not the right size, but if you want, if you lined up the dies with the correct side, I don't know if this is the correct side, turn it around. You can have them kind of hang off the side. See what I mean? You only cut to one side. So then this could be the edge of your card. So it's like an edgelet. But let's say, oh, but I really do wish they cut out both sides. Well, then you add the other side. I don't know if I got the right one. The right one? It looks similar, so you have to kind of figure out which one goes with which one. Oh, it's upside down. All right, so then, here it is. So then you, you line them up. And then you can cut out, oops, there we go. You can cut out the whole thing, or half, and you can cut out the left side or the right side, so it can hang the edge of your card, or it can be an accent. I thought that was kind of interesting. Something different. I love when they do different, unique little things here with the dies. And then, of course, they added things. They added light bulbs, so you can layer. They added a pine. They added a label, an apple, some little branches, and a little cute ghost. So, really cute. And these probably should stay together, because that's kind of very specific. So I really like that. Okay. All right. I'm actually almost at the end here of my somehow I missed showing you this it's a sparkle white ribbon I didn't like I said I didn't get everything oh and there's lace ribbon I forgot to show you this this goes with that harvest it's like an ivory lace really nice diamond weave lace ribbon and then this sparkly glitter ribbon like we have right now a black glitter this is a white glitter so it's kind of just like the black but white and let's see what didn't I show you I didn't show you celebration so let me show you Celebration. Okay, now, Celebration, like I said, you get stuff free with a $50 purchase. Here is one of the freeze. This is called Be Dazzling 6x6 Specialty Paper, and there's eight sheets. Now, this is different than our normal, um, our past glitter paper. It's got a different look to it. It almost looks fabric-y, but let me feel it. No, it's thick. It's thick like our old glimmer paper, but um, maybe you can see the texture is different. Look at how sparkly. Ooh. So that's free with a $50 purchase. That's one offering. Um, the next offering is that penguin paper that I showed you, free with a $50 purchase. Okay, then there's a really pretty stamp set that's called Feels Like Home. I love the bike. This is a really nice one if you like coloring. And it's got some nice sentiments, but just the really pretty background. Feels Like Home. This is free with a $50 purchase. And there's no limit. You spend 100, you can pick two things. Spend 200, pick four things. Um, let's see. There is beautifully penned. Now here, this one is interesting. A lot of times, Stampin' Up does black and white, plain, so that you can color them. But this one is more gray and white. And it's kind of sweet that way, actually. It's very soft. So you've got beautifully penned, and it matches that hand pen suite from the annual catalog. I like that they tied it in. So if you have that, and look at this cute little doodle. And you can use sponges or um, co you know, color this in any way you like. So you can add this. So this can be a gray and pink or a gray and yellow, whatever, background. Or leave it. Leave it white and gray. Really nice. So that's kind of cute little doodle. And again, they went with four of each sheet, but 12 by 12. So really fun. Here is a, just a stripe. And again, color it or leave it. Nice accent color. I'm going to say color this one. <laughs> <laughs> or leave it, but it's really pretty colored, I'm sure. Um, and then little leaves, that's a great accent. And little dots, who cannot, you can always use little dots. So this is a really good accent. It's meant to go with the hand pen suite, but again, these geometric sides can go with anything. Free with a $50 purchase. Okay, there's another paper. And this one also is free with $50 purchase. Now there's something in the annual catalog, and I didn't get it yet. It's totally on my wish list. I have to have it, but... Again, I had to limit myself to my, I mean, the catalog is huge. I didn't get a lot. So this is going to go with a punch and stamp set called Peaceful Deer 
and um, I don't have that yet, but you can imagine the punch punches out this shape. It maybe even punches out this exact deer. Um, and but look, this plaid on the back. It's just like the deer. How cute is that? And then birch tree paper. So cute. Look at this. Peppermint stripe. Nice. Um, different snowflakes on top of plaid and then plain plaid. Trees with plaid and dots and snowflakes and pine. I mean, really great. More deer and more plaid. Super great. This is free with a $50 purchase. And again, this is one of those that you might not think of right away because this um, celebration goes August and September and you might not be ready to do Christmas. I'm not really usually that. And I like to kind of really focus on the fall because it's my favorite. And so I forget about some of these things. You don't want to miss out on this. You want to grab this while you can in August and September. Okay. And then there's only a couple more free things I can show you. Let's see. Now here you've got... Remember the darling donkeys? Here we have counting sheep. Super cute little sheep. Add a hat. Nice little words. And this is free with a $50 purchase. But also, you could get the dyes. Now this one is a great deal. Dyes free with a $50 purchase, because normally dyes are free with a $100 purchase. But this one's with a $50. And look, you've got balloon, sun, clouds, little pennant, a hat, and a cute little fence. So you can use him with that, what's that, Peekaboo Farm? That would be cute. Add the sheep to Peekaboo Farm. Uh, anyway, super cute dice. Free with a $50 purchase, free with a $50 purchase. So if you spend 100 you get the whole little thing right there together. Here's another free with a $50 purchase. This one's called Textures and Frames, and I think this would be nice you know, to add. You can make your own background, background paper with this one. That one's fun. Um, I think of this one, too, as good for scrapbookers. That's my thought on this one. Okay, and then there's another free thing I didn't get because it's a free die set, free with a $100 purchase, and it matches a stamp set from the annual catalog that I don't have, amazingly. It's called Shaded Summer, so if you have the Shaded Summer stamp set, and I'm really thinking I need to add it now that there's a free die set to go with it, but that's a free with a $100 purchase. It's a little more intricate dies than the counting sheet. Okay, and also free with a $100 purchase because it's a larger stamp set is Delicate Dahlias. This is one of those distinctive sets. Look how pretty that is. The little petals look really nice. So anyway, this is a big flower, and this one is free with a $100 purchase. Really pretty. Delicate Dahlias. And I think that's it. That's all I've got to show you. Oh, wait, I have a paper lingering in my box. Where does he go? Oh, there was a stamp set that I didn't get yet called Peaceful Cabin. And this paper goes with that. I wanted the paper more than the stamp, but I like the stamp. It's on my list. It's just not on the top of the list, but this paper was. I like it. Because look, it's got that gray and white feel. They're really kind of pushing the gray and white, and I think it's really pretty. So I like that they're doing that. This is a nice background. Look at this one and how they cut it. So you could cut it yourself into six by six. It's really pretty. There's like a shimmer on there. And then here's some trees. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I didn't know that was in there. That's really interesting. It's really cool. All right. And then we have snowflakes. Oh, what's on the back? Oh, nice. A gray and white check. I have a shirt just like that, too. Oh, and here we've got kind of a silver wood... It looks like wood, like eyes and wood, but kind of whimsical. And here's some nice trees. And little dots. This one, anything, can go silver. And that's that peaceful cabin. And, oh, look at this one. Now here, this one's interesting too. What they did was they have it, so you can cut it in the middle. And then imagine cutting you know, your card front, so that would be the background. It's all on one, but if you cut it here and then cut out your card fronts, you know, in four inch sizes, you can do six card fronts with this one. What's on the back? It's really pretty patterns. So anyway, this is a huge catalog. There was a lot to see here. You probably already forgot what you saw at the beginning, all that holiday. So it's really great and 
celebration is going on. This is something you can look forward to in August. I hope that you'll come back if you um, want to see the catalog. I'll have it posted at my blog and my Facebook page. It'll also be at the Stampin' Up! site. And um, if you purchase from me, you'll get one. So um, look for that in the mail in the coming months. I haven't gotten, I always send one to myself at the same time so that I can kind of see when they start hitting the mailboxes. And people have gotten them. Um, one person in Wisconsin has gotten one, but in my area, Chicagoland area, I haven't gotten it yet. So they kind of go out in spurts. It's bulk mail, so sometimes it's a little slow, but I have ordered them for you, and they are on the way. So be on the lookout. Thanks for watching. Hope you're as excited as I am. Bye.